Welcome everybody to your weekly energy update and boy, boom, we start off this week on October 9th with a huge full moon in Aries. It's going to be at 1454 Mountain Time here in the US, which would of course be 254 p.m. in the afternoon, so you can adjust it to wherever you're at in the world. And full moons are a great time for a unveiling and letting go type of ceremony. And to make the most of the energies, you do want to do it like eight hours before the full moon hits. It's like you're preparing the things that you're getting ready to let go and you can take advantage of this beautiful releasing energy of the full moon that eight hours before that time. Uh, you also can make the most of this energy by focusing on those themes that cover the Aries energy. You know, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so it is about birth and early childhood challenges. So some things there you can look into for releasing. Uh, it is uh, ruling over the human body and the ego, our image, our identity, those types of things. Also, our individuality, rather than of a group, it's about us being our own and our freedom. Uh, also, you know, it has to do with abandonment and loneliness, you know, with being left to ourselves. And of course, with the Aries fiery energy and it being the first sign, it is about new directions, uh, radical change. Uh, also, all this fiery energy, uh, where are you focusing it? How is it flowing? Uh, there is also this theme around timing and having patience with the divine timing, right? <laughs> and of course, this fiery energy is about competition, controlling, which equals drama. So for, you know, this reading, we're going to look at those energies. And as far as the physical body, Aries rolls over like the eyes, the ears, the brain and everything that relates with the head. So, uh, you know, when we're looking at what we want to release, uh, anything around those themes will make it even more for us. So, uh, you know, definitely enjoy the process. Enjoy this moon. It's a wonderful time of renewal and release uh, for this reading we're just going to be asking creator and spirit what they'd like us to know about what we are ready to let go of what aren't we seeing that we are ready to release so of course i'll have a reading for each individual zodiac sign and we're going to jump into yours right now all right virgos this is your weekly energy update and we are going to start off by pulling a card here from the power of surrender deck of course any of the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box below so if any of them catch your eye and you want them for yourself you know where you can pick those up so we will start with this deck and we're going to find out what creator and spirit wants you to know about what you are ready to surrender what you're ready to let go of. So let's take a look. For all our Virgos, what would you like them to know? All right, this is the one right off the bat here. And you got surrender unhealthy relationships. Okay, I know, I know. It says let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. I love that. Yeah, definitely you're ready to stop investing uh, in those unhealthy relationships. You know, um, I know that if we don't let go of them, eventually the tower energy will take them away. Um, in one way or another, we just get to experience a lot of unnecessary suffering <laughs> along the way. So I love that they're telling you that you are ready to let it go because this wouldn't show up for you. You wouldn't come across this reading if, if they were going to have this experience of trying to take candy away from my baby. You know, no, I don't want to let it go. Well, then you won't. You'll never let anything go until you're ready anyway. But this is them telling you that you are ready um, for that. <laughs> So we're also going to pull cards here uh, from the Into the Lonely Woods to get more clarity around this uh, letting go of those unhealthy relationships. <laughs> All right. So what else for our Virgos, please? What else would you like them to know about this? All right. They are speaking fast. You have, there is one who watches over you. I like it. Power number 44, very strong energy for you. Just put that right here. And let's take a look. 
and see what else this says. It says, the one who watches over you is compassionate and sage. They often come to you in subtle ways, in the wise shape of a tree, in the luster of sunlit clouds, in the song of water running over rocks. To know you have this guardian is to understand that, while although there is loneliness, you are never alone. This watcher is linked to the path of your soul from your first breath to your last, and they will be with you in the great in-between of your lifetimes. The one who watches over you knows the sacred quest of your soul, and when it feels like you have lost your way, they will remind you of your purpose. Wow. So definitely, you know, a fear we have, and, th and that's why we stay in toxic relationships, whether it's uh, a relationship with work or a personal relationship, family, friends, uh, romantic, whatever it might be, is because we fear being alone. We fear like, well, at least, even if it's toxic, at least I have someone, because if we break up or if I don't have them, then I'll never have anyone ever, ever again. And of course, that's what we feel in the beginning, but after the first break, up the second the third the fourth you, you realize at least by my personal experience you will always find love again <laughs> if you want it you're gonna find it no matter how unhealthy or healthy it is you will always find love again but I love here love 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 that uh, it's saying that you have a guardian you have a whole host of beings actually of unconditional love and light that are always around you you are truly never ever alone uh, even though they're invisible and you can't see them you can feel them and especially the more time you take in getting to know them and interact with them the stronger your relationship and awareness of them also becomes but let's take a look here we're gonna um, use these spirit song tarot to get more clarity here and you might have already seen me use these it's a brand new deck as well as these that we'll be looking at in a moment. Um, but I've been using these in my live reading sessions that I've been doing on YouTube um, and on Instagram. So if you haven't seen those yet, I did start going live every single day. Sunday through Fridays, I uh, go online on YouTube at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Saturdays, I push that back to 8 p.m. Mountain Time because I do go live on Instagram at 5 p.m. on Saturdays. And then on the mornings, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, I go live at 11 a.m. Mountain and 10 a.m. on Sunday's Mountain. So if you haven't stopped by to say hi and check it out, uh, be sure you do. I'd love to see you. All right, so let's take a look here and see what else they want you to know about this. Leaving toxic relationships and this beautiful guardian and support team that you have. So what else for our Virgos, please? What else would you like us to know, please? All right. Okay, one, two, and three, four, five. All right. So we'll scooch these over, make room. And we will start with this one over here. So you have the Nine of Crystals, <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles, which is uh, about this inner search for your worth and your wholeness and your completeness. Uh, the Nine is very much the hermit card which is the virgo energy you know all about it so it's your energy and this inner search this inner journey that you have with this huge lantern huge star inside of it which is your higher self and your posse of support helping guide you on your path just like the card said helping helping you along the way and if you kind of lose focus on what your true soul purpose is here um, they will lovingly um, remind you uh, and uh, give you signs and synchronicities to help you that especially if you ask for it because they really do honor our free will so much they will not meddle in our lives a whole lot um, except for those things we asked them before we came down here they have a long list of things we're like at this time tell me this at this time do this at this time do this at this time bring this in at this time take this out um, and they're always doing that but of our own free will here we can ask them for signs and synchronicities and answers as long as it doesn't meddle with our uh, plan that we told them before we came down here they are more than willing to jump in and help assist as well so i do love this coming in here for you 
Then you have the Queen of Acorns, the Queen of Wands. So again, very passionate um, energy. The Wands is the drive, the ambition, the inspiration, um, the our overall energy uh, in our lives. And the Queen of Acorns, in addition to ruling over the fire, also gets a portion of water, which allows her that intuition, that gut, uh, she very much, the wands energy is spiritual energy too. So the combination of those two really uh, has this message of connecting to your higher self, connecting to all these individuals on the other side and developing that relationship because, you know, she can get things done. She find, uh, find focuses her energy, but she doesn't feel like she's taking risks like others do in the wands suit you know, like the, the page, the knight and the king, because she has this connection of the eye in the sky. So she reaches a decision point in her life and she says, hey, connects upward and says, what do you guys think? What's in more alignment with my, you know, connects with the, the path uh, suppliers here. What do you think is from my highest experience? And they're like, oh, take a right. And like, okay, I'm taking a right. And people are like, oh my God, how can you just do that so confidently? And it's because of your connection that you have with the higher realms. And you have the sun. Go figure. <laughs> the sun coming in. I, the sun comes out quite a bit in these Virgo readings. It's uh, quite interesting that I usually see that popping up. Uh, but it is a very much of a victory card. Um, it also is about connecting and getting to understanding your uh, child self. And these unhealthy relationships uh, are echoes from emotional uh, experiences we had between birth um, and seven years old ish uh, you know because whatever we experience there continues to echo out and so if we're continually drawn drawing in and drawn to these unhealthy relationships it's because of an old 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 relationship that was very young in our lives and so this is about looking back there and checking that out um, but it is also a huge sign of light shining in all these areas of our life, um, bringing this beautiful warmth and this beautiful light into our lives as well. And then you have the three of crystals, which would be the three of pentacles in the standard tarot. And this is about you um, staying true to your authentic self, really getting to know your authentic self, not being drawn off by trying to please others or try not to upset others. Uh, instead, it's about you really zeroing in and understanding what it is you want to do, you know, with your guides and everything else, you know, uh, really showing this wonderful awareness about what your true dream is. What do you want to, you know, like your sole purpose? What do you want to do? And not being drawn off course um, by others. Like I said, other by either you're afraid of people or what they're going to say and their criticism and all that, or other people that are supporting you um, and in your corner, but suggesting you maybe do it this way, because sometimes they can draw us off course uh, more easily than the naysayers, because it's so obvious. But the our you know child self that is looking to please people uh, might alter it because we don't want them to join the naysayer camp right so this is this about staying true to the authentic you and your authentic soul path as well and then you have the empress yay so new birth coming mother nature mother nurture taking care of yourself uh, allowing your creativity to flow and then definitely um, like the three of crystals here, stay true to your authentic self. Allow yourself to birth things into the world that are of you and not, um, you know, out of expectation and, and trying to, you know, please people and, um, you know, maintain those relationships. Being afraid that they'll leave. It's like, oh, bye bye. If, if you can't take it, bye. <laughs> All right. Also, we'll look at the Tarot of Dragons. Let's see what else they want all of your Virgos to know. All right. So what else for our Virgos, please? Okay, they do want this one right here. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. And these. Okay, yep, just those two. So 
we will do all of these and we'll start with this one over here, which you have is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, Swords is your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your mentalities, your attitudes. Um, and the Eight of Swords does tell you, it shows you that it's your thoughts and your own beliefs that are making you feel bound and restricted and blinded. It's not um, these relationships. And I love that they're bringing that up because when when we say that um, that person is toxic, that's really a, a truer statement is my thoughts about that person are toxic. <laughs> You know, they have actions, they do what they do, but it's all my beliefs and my stories that I put around all that that is what uh, is toxic, right? Because when we change things, when we change our approach and how we look at stuff, it transforms. Our, how we think about other people changes. It doesn't mean you will stay in a relationship with them, but it, you'll start looking at them differently as you understand that, especially getting into these echoes that came from your child self, that it's like, oh, all that was happening inside of me. They were just a mirror, you know? And they can't help what you see in that mirror it's like so that's this turning around and understanding of what it is of your own thoughts and your own beliefs that we're creating these stories and these situations as those change and transform so does your outside world yes because you have the death card death and rebirth it's not a bad card at all uh, it is the ending and the new beginning that comes in here i mean you have the empress so you know there's new beginnings new things coming so things end and you move on to something that's more in alignment with where uh, you want to head and that is in more alignment with your soul purpose and your path So you're letting those things go. You've learned everything you needed to learn and Then you have the star card, which is the bright light that is in the hermits um, Lamp, right? So this is the connection to your higher self the bringer of hope uh, and uh, Definitely this shines bright uh, you have the Sun and the star here So you do have this brightness that's coming in as you let these unhealthy relationships that have been uh, taking a lot of well let me put it this way that you've been investing a lot of your energy in that you're ready to let go of you're seeing that uh, no longer do you want your bright sunlight and starlight to go into the black hole you're ready to have them uh, shine bright and fill up your soul purpose with this new birth with this new direction that you want to head instead so i do love this for you virgos i'm excited to see what you're going to do and how you're going to express your soul purpose into the world if you feel like sharing pop it down below in the comments below we always love to hear um, all the amazing things all our buddhas and all our sisters and or however you identify what you're doing into the world and sharing this beautiful beautiful huge heart of yours uh, with the rest of us so if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these weekly energy updates I also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't uh, miss out on any of those and actually get a notification immediately when they're available if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button also uh, clicking that subscribe button will give you access to the notification bell and when you go in there there's an option for all if you select it then you'll be notified of any new videos that do come out on this channel as well as get notified when I go live Ooh. <laughs> so uh, also doing those things helps spread the Zen love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share one of my videos comment on one of my videos subscribe to my channel doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy it does want to automatically share my videos with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of that please know I am so so grateful also, these are general readings. If you're looking for more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings. Obviously, I go live as well, offering personal readings. Um, but, um, and I got off track, but I, oh yeah, so I uh, offer personal readings and my recorded personal readings 
um, also are on a sliding price scale, which means for each of the type of personal readings I offer, uh, the recorded ones, you can choose between three different price points and you can choose one that's more in alignment with your budget. So some great flexibility. If you're interested in any of that, it is all listed in the description box of this video below. All right, Virgos. As you head off on this amazing adventure out of these unhealthy relationships, please know that every second of every day that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, this great posse, and you are never ever alone. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure we'll be talking soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.